Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you a cool trick in Microsoft Excel. You can sort by color in Excel. So I'm going to apply yellow, yellow, pick a different color, and a third color. Let's use green. If you want to sort, you have to go to data sort. I want to sort by last name. That's where I did it. I want to sort by the cell color, and here are my three colors. Copy level, pick a different color. Copy level, pick a different color. Hit OK and it works. I'm going to do an undo one time up here in the top left. The issue is if every other day I'm sorting but instead of three colors it's 30 colors, that's a lot of work. The other option is if you go to filter and I'm going to pull this over here a little bit. You can filter by color, but you can only filter by one color. You can't filter by more than one. I've tried control, I've tried shift, one color is it. So let me turn that off. So here's how you get around it. Simply highlight this information here, copy it, and if you wanted to actually type this right here you could. Copy it. Alt F11 will get you to VBA for Excel and you do not have to be an expert at VBA. All you're going to do is click on insert module, paste this in there, or once again you could type it, close out of it and come back in here. So let's do it. Alt F11. Microsoft Visual Basic for applications, insert, module, right click, paste, or type, I don't care, close this box. You just made a function, by the way, called color number. Put a column anywhere, I'm going to insert here. I'm going to get rid of that background color for now, no fill. Type in color number. You can actually call that whatever you want to, but here's your function. Equal symbol, C-O-L, there it is. Double click it. I want to find out what number that is. Press enter, I get the number six. If you look over here, yellow is six. Green is going to be 14, I believe, and that gray color should be 15. If you get the number 4142 as a negative, don't worry about it. You're going to get it. Auto fill down. Perfect. And so now what we can do is if we need to filter by more than one color, data, filter, just uncheck that. Hit OK. And so I'm filtering by three colors. I'm going to turn filter off. If I need to go and sort by, once again, act like I have 30 instead of 3, I can do a right click, point to the word sort, and sort largest to smallest. And there I go. So there's my 30 colors before the other ones. That simple. So hopefully this works out for you. Thank you for your time. Call me if you need Microsoft Office training for your company.